Yeah. Right, okay, welcome back. Didn't take me long, did it, see? Right, um, I've changed the buttons on the jaws, got it to the right size, mounted it. I've got some tissue underneath just to protect the rim. I brought the towel stock in mm -hmm. so I can take this down because I don't want to just have, this hangs out quite a bit and I'm not going to trust that just on the buttons there. So I'm going to be taking it down to a nib and I'll just take the nib off and sand it afterwards. Okay, right, I'm going to turn the low speed down a little bit and start up. Sounds faster than it is because of the tissue. Although, as you know, fast and furious turning. Right. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna start. I feel I'm gonna start with a square chisel. I'm gonna come in and just get the size down because that's quite thick and I wanna get rid of a lot of that. Okay, so. Square chisel, a little bit more speed. There we go. Right, very gentle, very gentle. Take the time here because it's turning a bit slower. My handle dropped just slightly, not a lot, but I'm down a little bit. It gives it a nicer cut. Well, that's about where I want to be, thickness wise. Yep. I'm going to turn the speed up a little bit if I can. Right, okay, we should be a bit better there. Go round chisel. I want to just get a little bit of a a slight shank from that, but I'm, I don't want it flat. What the rim that's going to sit on out here. Right, move the tool rest around a little bit. Come in like this. Now, 
more in close. Handles down, tools rolled over. See, I've got a nice little foot there. Nice and smooth, that's it. Right, now I've got to get in and take some of this away, see? Right, I'm going to switch to a detail chisel now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to be using, we're using the, the negative rake one. If, if you've not used the negative rake cutters, then uh, you're missing out. They are brilliant. They're not just for resin, they're brilliant on wood as well. And the detail one, it, it calms that chisel down so much. It really does. I'm going to actually use it just to take this bottom in a bit. Come in. I don't want it. I don't want it to roll around. I don't want it to be flat on the bottom. There we go. Right. I'm just going to get the round. Going to get me round chisel and come across there. Give that cleaner finish. That's it. And we'll come in and bring this lid down a bit more. I'm going to do a little bit of sanding on that, a little bit of finish. Get that out of the way. Get the 180. Nice. Three twenty. Go 
Right, okay. Now, I want to just have a quick... I'm going to quickly check whether that is going to be... Yep, bottom is in, so that should be alright. Just want to make sure I'm not going to have a, a little bump in the middle on the bottom. Oh, I've done that. Back to, oh actually, I've got some new wax on first, sorry. Jumping ahead of myself there. 